Thank you for joining us again. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to measure and use your standard kit. Now, if your gauge is off zero, please see our previous video on how to reset your gauge. Now, now getting started, let's say that um, your stuff just came in the mail and you need to assemble it. The first thing you're going to do is check your needles. As you can see, this needle here is bent. This one has been used. You also want to check the tip. So this has a pretty worn tip and this tip is nice and sharp. So if you've used this before, you know, just make sure that your equipment is in good working order. So this is not a needle that we would use. Now assembling your standard kit, you're going to use the bottom little threads and you want to make sure you're threading carefully because you don't want to strip these out. So just get your needle in there, get it started with your hand, make sure you feel nice, consistent engagement of those threads. If it feels kind of hard, just back up and give yourself a moment and try again. Um, so we're just going to get it finger tight. And then you just use a little 5 16 little wrench. Slide that over on the hex. And you just need to snug it up. It doesn't need to be crazy tight. It just needs to be tight right enough. enough. Now one thing to, to check before you go through is, let me see one of these regular needles here, is you want to make sure when you plunge this in, that this little hole here, so I don't know if you guys can see that, that little hole there needs to be above the liquid line. It needs to land right here in this air pocket. So if it's in this down here, it's not measuring this head pressure, it's just measuring the water or your wine. So that's something to keep track of. So here, this needle as is, is too low. Over here in this bottle, it's gonna work just fine. Now we have found this particular needle length works for 99.99% .99 of our customers. Very rarely do they need a different size. If you need a longer needle, we can happily make those for you. We have quite a few in stock. Now, if the standard size is too long for you and you're using the standard kit, the cheapest way to go about it is just make yourself a spacer, pull a cork out of an old bottle and just cut it the size you need to make sure that this needle is gonna land right there. So you can see with this little spacer here, this example, this little hole lands right there. So there's a the little hole and it's gonna land right in that space, right where we want it. So that's just your cheap work through. That way you don't have to spend extra money having some custom needles. Maybe you can just do that on the fly. So now we are gonna take our kit and we are going to measure the pressure here in this bottle. So I'm gonna use my thumb to help guide it in. And one thing I want you to note is this table is a little high for me. This is not a table I would work at if I was doing a bottling line. I don't have a lot of force. Um, so hopefully you are set up ergonomically pro appropriately to do this. So, and also for this example, this gauge is gonna be facing out so you guys can see it. If I was measuring on my own, I would probably have it close to me where I could pull down and have a lot more uh, strength to help me do this. So just keep in mind, if you're doing it, make sure you think about how you're doing it so you're set, up, set yourself up for uh, the easiest way and so you're not wearing and tearing your body inappropriately. So I have it straight. Now I'm gonna, I need to apply straight pressure down because I don't want to bend that needle. I'm gonna push this all the way through the cork. There it's through. And let's see, what did it measure? We're about five PSI. And if we watch it, I think you might be able to see the needle moving. So that's that pressure equalizing since this is not a closed system. It's pulling air or it's letting air out of this is what you're seeing. So that's why you want to measure pretty quick. All of a sudden we're back down to zero. So if you waited this long, you would get a false negative reading here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Now, as an example of why to stay straight through here and be careful, I'm going to use this one that we know is too short because I'm going to sacrifice this needle and give an example to you of how easy it is to bend it. So I have my needle. It's lined up. And let's say I'm not paying attention and I'm struggling or I'm tired and I get it off. Oh, there's my needle bent. So this is not going to work anymore because the next time you try and do it, it's just going to bend more. And so you really want to be careful using the standard kit. So you're going slow and carefully and lining it up. So that's why if you're doing a lot of stuff, you might want to look at some of the other kits. But that's overall how the standard kit works. Pretty simple, just a gauge and a needle. Just line it up plunge carefully and slowly.